Aquarius, welcome to my channel, Rainbow Wizard. I will be doing a reading for you. Uh, it is the middle of August to the end of August, right? We are moving slowly but surely into Virgo season and we are moving into Mercury retrograde. <laughs> um, I personally uh, do like uh, Mercury, I mean, uh, Mercury retrograde. Uh, for me, how I see it, Mercury retrograde, it is more the fact, it, I, I view it as, a, okay, um, when there is a full moon, I often can't sleep, right? So the full moon, uh, obviously it's a fact it's there in the universe and somehow it's linked to i can't sleep whether it's uh, true or not right that's how it is so i view the same as mercury retrograde there is something in the air that can you know you can't really um fight against the energy but i don't think it's superstitious right so that's just my take on it if it makes sense it's a bit like when it's dark you need a torch when it's light you might need sunscreen right i look at it more as a factual thing that if you know of the the type of um energy it can give because it's you know the the planets a bit more of a, a fact shall i say or right so therefore if you completely uh, ignore the mercury retrograde and maybe knowing okay um i will out it now without a torch but who cares i don't care if it's the moon because i know my territory right so uh that's something anyway i thought of that the other day why 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 is the mercury retrograde a certain energy but really it is to especially i think the earth signs are um, more affected these days uh, bec uh, you know that's something to do with uh, i don't know that information so i'm not going to make it up but i read about that and we're moving into virgo but anyway aquarius 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 it is your reading and uh, i do as usual pick up more love messages right um but I, I will tell you what I see. Thank you for your amazing comments. Really appreciate that. So great to connect with you all. I hope you're doing great. Welcome to all of you new viewers. For those of you that don't know me, I do shuffle on screen, waffle on screen <laughs> to connect with all of you better. So let's see, let's see, let's see. So. Maybe you're dealing with a fire sign. This person is on a, a distance from you. This person have had quite a few chances with you. Now, um, I do see that a person here, they do want this opportunity to show their feelings. This person, they see without knowing you or if you have met them or if you don't or haven't met them, sorry, they see that they desire this connection because it is a, uh, you know, they have a pull towards you. <clears throat> there, there is this more than attraction, right? They just feel that they want to be around you. But this person haven't really um, invested uh, and 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 been trying to grow this connection. This person have. Um, showed up more of a they could show up like okay when there is a party or if you are partying or something like that and a cel celebratory energy because then there's a lot of people around them so that could be or they, they, there is something about this person here have also hurt you there's been could be in regards to a third party see here we have the king of cups the queen of cups I see that you have experienced um, someone here ghosted, hurt you, right? This person here, fire sign, they could have moved forward with the queen of cups. Uh, a cycle is ending. And this person that left you, they're coming towards you. They're very attracted to you. You are very attractive at this time, Aquarius. But... I would say here, this is, you've healed from this heartache with this person, well and truly, you gained maturity, you gained some experience. And right now you are in this high priestess, right? See, the high hierophant. You want to move according to in love that it is blissful, it is happiness, right? Um, I see that someone is coming towards you, Aquarius, where 
Mm, it can be a new person. It can be where you then are making a shift with your heart, right? You are recovering from someone that this connection could have been very much of a physical connection. Um, and it was a, a strong connection. It could be a soul connection, right? Uh, but I see here there is a shift because you have healed from heartache and also you could have grown uh, apart from this person. Um, you could have grown apart from this person um, here um, because you, you healed your heart and where... So I see a person here that is someone that when they give you attention, right, there is this physical attraction with you and them, physical, strong physical attraction. And it hurt when they went missing. This person could be a, a Leo. But as you have been on this, this new path and looking into your new opportunities, a person that is reaching out to you, you're going to connect with and you're going to feel that suddenly it makes all sense to you. Suddenly this makes all sense to you. You feel just really uh, in tune with what is happening right now. I'm really seeing that everything is flowing. You're coming out of a time where you had to heal. You, you had to overcome something that was a bit harsh. But now you're looking at it with... Yeah, you're someone that are they're healed. Let's see who this person is here. Because I see... Okay. Uh, who is this person showing up in Aquarius reading? With the world. Who is this person? So, it could be an Aries. Um, this person had just kept their guards up. Haven't, you know, been defensive about their feelings, right? Uh, they could be a third party. This person could be someone that... If you... I did just did a, did a twin flame reading, which is a bit more, you know, deep in comparisons and all that. You know, sometimes I don't even know. I have no idea what, how those readings, how they will end up. But uh, signs, I'm a bit more, you know, direct. I feel signs is a bit more sort of um, 3D in, in a way. So, right, a, a cycle is closed here as well. This person is missing the past. Well, you know, they are missing this connection because now actually where they find themselves, because not investing in this connection, they find themselves depleted. They want to take action in love uh, before it is too late. Uh, they have feelings for you, right? So I don't really see uh, this, this um, doesn't. I don't really see a third party. I just see that there was a disappointment with this person. This person could be someone that listening to others' advice, realizing that others' advice or a crowd, or maybe they invested more time in partying per se. But there's something about them realizing that this connection here is um, uh, very sacred. But they're also. Um, even though they want to take, uh, you know, oh yeah, it's like yeah, I want to, I want to call Aquarius, right? Um, I want to, you know, go this way. I have this passion. I want to go this way. And what they desire, they are not quite ready to do here because they would require to take the high road. Uh, King of Wands taking the high road, right? And how do they look at the high road? Uh, I mean, it's like they want to heal it. For them, I see what they're doing that isn't, um, that is going to actually disconnect them with you, Aquarius, is that this person here, they can't help themselves to connect with you on the physical level, like physical, it's, it's that they're so attracted to you. And for you, that has been wearing thin. So yes, this is a soulmate. Yes, this could, you know, be a, you know, the, it's, it's that connection, right? Uh, we have many soulmates, but, um, And this person wants to repeat something passionate with you that you previously wanted. But I see that you have truly shifted into the high road, uh, Aquarius. And that is finding a spiritual journey, a spiritual connection, but also the one that is, uh, is really, you know, really constantly putting you on a high in your life. Uh, this is growth, maturity. You are go. You are not just going for a, a quick rendezvous, or that you have um, this deep desire to only connect with the past, right? Nine of Cups. 
So, so you have you have the satisfaction, uh, Aquarius. I, you know, you have gained the satisfaction of truly, um, being uh, in, feeling your success, and you have experienced or retained uh, something materialistic as well, perhaps, or you are sort of enjoying that. Um, you have an inner knowing, an inner voice as well. What is next for you? See, a person here coming in as the King of Cups. Um, you, This person have Pisces in their chart. They could come out of a... Um, it's something to do with the, this person maturing when they come towards you, but uh, you have actually just seen them as very immature. This is someone that could be very young, but actually um, they show you that uh, uh, age, or not, don't judge this book by its cover. There's someone here that shows immense maturity by a very young age. At first you could think, oh, why am I happy around this person and this person? I didn't expect that from them. It could be someone with... Uh, uh, there are Pisces in their chart, perhaps also fire in their chart. You don't expect that from this person. Um, and um, it's making you sort of move into a place of harmony. And I see that you are healing here. Now, you are someone that is highly uh, of high value. You're highly valued, uh, right? Uh, you va value yourself. And it could also be that uh, because in the twin flame reading, it's very much about taking another. It is seeing that I don't want really need to disconnect with the past, even if it's past, oops, oops, past life right now, because it's just not in my with aligning with my higher self. It doesn't it doesn't feel right. But I see something magnificent here about the sun. You're going to feel the sun, but only if you choose not to get caught up in the Queen of Wands energy is that um, there is some kind of impact this person here have had on you where they give you a certain amount of attention. And maybe they, you got used to it and it's almost like a guilty pleasure. Yeah, it's a guilty pleasure where you say, I don't actually go by that. But yeah, the, the, it is. So it could be something you admit to yourself as well about a pre previous connection right with this person and um, and you could say right um oh gosh okay i also someone that could be very like could be very charming but then there is another coin to their charm right there is an illusion around their charm yeah so so uh, i see here you are sort of mm, when this person has been around is that you feel blindfolded. You know you have to walk away, but somehow you've stayed there anyway. Uh, this person here, there's two people around you, King of Wands and King of Cups, regardless of the gender. You are also, I mean, again, there is that you are very attractive. You can't, uh, it's something about you. You are, you're attracting also people based on your looks at this time. And even though you are not really interested in, um, and being sort of appreciated, like not appreciated, but like attracting someone based on looks, if that's the way, or just the behavior that is very charismatic. Mm. I see that you should embrace it. So it is embrace it. See, it is that, it, it is about you throwing away. So a person here have made you feel a certain way. So if you go back to when you met this person, you could have been someone completely free of them you know, because you didn't meet them, right? <laughs> and you were someone that actually enjoyed being the, the queen of wands at that time. You were like, oh, I'm the queen of wands. I get all this attention. It's, it's great, right? And very often someone say that before they go into a bad relationship, right? So since that, uh, the encounter with this person, you could have always walked on eggshells. You have, never been, you have not been the queen of wands or enjoyed to be the queen of wands because this person here don't want to let you go. Now, you are going to move it back into that queen of wands because you are moving away from someone. And they are going to see that you are have moved away from them. That you, um, 
you are not uh, stepping on any eggshells, or you're not really feeling that you have to accommodate to this person whatsoever. I see that you are sort of boldly moving into a place of just saying, I don't care who's single, who's not single, or who's around me that I should consider it, be considerate to. I'm going to be my queen of wands. I feel good. I will show the world. I will not take, you know, I will not uh, stop on the way to accommodate anyone else's sort of um, feelings because, okay, maybe I should feel how they feel, right? Maybe I should tone down my success. Maybe I shouldn't uh, be so forward when someone might be struggling. You are not here uh, holding back, right? You are not holding back. I do see here, someone is going to come towards you, share their feelings with you. You are walking away from someone from the past. This person here, King of Wands, they could be in a relationship. Let's say they are still staying there. And I got this in a Twin Flame reading. Someone could just be still there, but they are still coming forward to you. But maybe you know that this person has always, always done that. Uh, however, there is here a, someone that is... They have deep feelings, but they have their guards up. They're a little bit scared of telling you, but they are going to tell you. This person revealing their feelings, you revealing your feelings, this will move forward. This will be very successful here. Uh, some Something to do with the King of uh, Cups here. That is something, it, it could just be an illusion around it that you're like, oh, am I really into this person? Are they really into me? But yes, they are into you. But they come towards you as someone that is, uh, could be a player energy or something. There's, there is an illusion around something that you are sort of deciding to, oh, just, you know, I'm just going to go by, by how I feel and I'm not going to go by my old. Uh, my, my wounds, I'm not going to go by my anything else. It's something about you realizing that, oh, um, I don't need to be stuck in my head. I don't need to, to listen to an old program. I'm not, the, I'm not a victim or I'm not, there's not an illusion. I don't need to heal, right? There's something about you realizing Aquarius based uh, during the Mercury retrograde that you have healed. You don't have to um, be scared of something because you are going to be hurt, right? You are in a happy place and you will remain in a happy place here. Uh, and it's about you saying, okay, moving away from the illusion. There is no point to be in this illusion or pain or like hesitation here. I'm moving forward five of wands right yeah there is the lovers you are not caring about gossip you're not caring about anyone around you that you know might there might be some drama or so you don't care about that you are sort of there's someone here watching you uh someone that is um four of cups someone has been sitting in unrequited love i do see here someone is planning to come forward to you, but they are hiding it. But they are uh, there's something about this person, King of Cups. Yeah, there is a King of Cups, a Scorpio, very much a Scorpio that is around you that have feelings for you, but they are acting strategic that they don't have any feelings for you, right? But you see here because they that that could cause a burden for them. It's something like that. I don't know what or who you're dealing with, but. Four of, four of swords. Someone here is, okay, someone here has something going on in their life. I feel it's two people and there could be a whole lot of chaos, but you don't, you have come into this person's life later in life and you've got nothing to do with what's going on in their life already. This person here is looking at you as with feelings, right? Um, but they're also here blindfolded because they haven't really stepped away from um, something they need to step away from before they move forward with you here. There is an um, connection here coming out of the woodworks that you don't even see coming, Aquarius. It's very, very bizarre. This is like a, uh, it's like this whole merch. Someone is sending out this, um, it's like this fair signals, like, um, you know, it's like if you, if you don't speak to someone, you have no idea what's going on in their life and you don't really want to know. This is almost like a stranger. You don't need to know what's going on in their life, but there is all this, like, if you do, if you do tap into it and you just feel that energy, uh, it, 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 it's something like that, uh, Aquarius. But you, you can sort of miss, skip that bit. It, it's not yours. Uh, it's also, I'm picking up here, Aquarius, during the, the especially moving into the 23rd, right? You will, um, 
Yeah. There is someone here that's being very, very strategic. And you actually know that this person is being strategic. This could be a boss. This could be someone that isn't happy and they're trying to show, you know, this is someone that needs to heal. They have some burden to do with their family situation. But I see here, Aquarius, this is very, very bizarre. So, okay, a person here could, there's two people in your reading, could be an Aries, could be a Scorpio. They could, again, they decide to stay in unrequited love in this marriage uh, or institution or, you know, marriage or relationship or anything is you know let's call it long-term institution but actually they deny that they needed it but they actually needed it but again they try to show the world that they don't need it right but they are still there something that you're realizing here there is a tower moment about um something to do with the king of cups um all right who's the king of cups that is showing up around Aquarius. Who is the King of Cups? Who is the King of Cups? Who is the King of Cups? See, they see that you have a lot of power, Aquarius. They see that you can't be shook. You can't see. They have feelings for you. They, there is like deep feelings here, a contract, but it's still premature. There's a destined union coming in here that will be successful. It could go very fast. This also will make you leave someone behind. Someone else will leave someone behind. I see two people coming together here. Very like, it happens. It's happening fast, Aquarius. I would say you could go from just like not thinking about any relationship or any love at all whatsoever, Aquarius, to uh, just suddenly see or say eye, eye to eye with someone that you have mutual feelings with person could maybe have a child um yeah it's it's happening fast but it's uh yeah, i mean it's it's sincere i would i would say so um, sorry um gosh what have i done uh sorry i just came out of another reading i didn't clear up everything oh wow this is so there is something to do with the focus of someone missing <clears throat> so that you might not <clears throat> see um, that you have become very attractive whilst healing from someone missing, that you are very happy, but someone is throwing you that is almost like a spell or an energy because you're still connected to them that, you know, you can't really replace them. It's, it's a state of mind. Um, yeah, it's a bit strange, right? But you're freeing yourself here. Freeing yourself from an old person that is an unrequited love. There's a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. There is a child here calling in your soulmate new love. Yeah, this is new love. You deserve love. The, uh, someone is coming towards you as well. I think they have a child. It's happening very fast, actually. You, I, I see that it's happening fast. And... It's just like, ooh, suddenly you're with the right person. <laughs> Out of the blue, you could say that, uh, oh, I, I don't want a relationship or anything. I don't really see necessarily you are moving into, uh, it's, not, it's not really about the relationship. It is about you seeing clearly your journey. You seeing clearly who's in front of you. And you see there's two people speaking uh, to each other about their feelings, clearly. Uh, no messing about. Uh, it is um, the truth and nothing but the truth. And it's judgment here. There might be some judgment. There's Ten of Swords, right? The High Priestess, the Four of Swords. There could be, you know, of course, an, an, a new beginning is also an ending. This is you really also, sh you know, showing your expertise, especially in a work situation. Uh, you are showing that no one can really get you down here, Aquarius. Uh, yeah, no, I see here. Someone is around you is trying to... Okay, so... Okay, there is a Knight of Wands around you here that did something to you to hurt you. And it did hurt, you acknowledge it. But this person, they love to have people watching them. But this new beginning that they want to, to get with you, it's, it will not happen because you have uh, shifted. Uh, and, and this will be their journey here. I, I really see... Uh, what, what I'm really seeing here, it is that someone's actually <clears throat> misbehaving 
and you can check the twin flame reading someone is abusing their control uh, sorry abusing their power as a counterpart someone abusing their you know it, it is that they went for queen of wands reversed <clears throat> um and, and you you have uh, shift you have shifted your focus um uh, aquarius you are encountering someone that is um very much um uh, aligned with you uh so so if this you haven't met this person but it, it's going to be that okay i this person is for me we are very suited but i will go with the flow and as you do as well you will disconnect with uh someone that have been abusing their power and you even know about this but it's just like this person this through the separation here you're meeting a person that you will go for a date with and there could be this person sending you this uh, messages that you know they're jealous they're holding on to you but you're going to fight through it there's someone here around you that have some very very toxic traits here uh, i i would see there's someone that is they could have got you under their spell, their wing, their something for the longest time. And you might be seeing Aquarius that, oh, wow, how, how did I, how did I, how did I get so involved with them? You, it's almost like an addiction that you couldn't conquer. It's a, it's like you, even if you, you're not with them, or even if you, you know, don't speak to them, there is someone here that you could not, they will because they are so stuck on you you couldn't get them off your mind and even if you wanted to but uh, you will get them off your mind and it's going to feel like such a relief and it's based on a new person here uh, as well it, but it's happening at the time of yeah you have healed your heart here right the truth is coming towards you this person that is coming towards you i can't really see their sign uh i mean I, I, so yeah Th this person here could it, it's like what they're presenting to you it is both stability it is both stability and that they're very as sure of their feelings and this is new to you this is who you are also but somehow you uh play this game with someone this cat and mouse thing for a very long time because you decided to stay in the queen of wands you will uh rem there this 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 chapter will yeah you will move away from that chapter in your life aquarius and it's going to feel like the biggest burden uh, the heaviest burden sorry have been lifted off you um it's going to feel uh, just like the yeah it's like the the clarity the the relief there is something about someone have really got you into a I'm also saying you could you're seeing you might have uh, dreams about spiders at this time. I hope not, but it's someone that has always been right in front of you, blocking the the way through the web where you sort of can more admire the web and this spider is big, right? Um, and it's but it's there, but it doesn't bite. It's just there, but it's blocking and it's got a dark something dark within them. This spider is even too big for the web that they created. So their ego is too big. The ve I mean, you know, the as if you think about like a massive spider, we're not going into a, to 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 do the scary movies, but if you just see a normal spider web with an, I was gonna say a healthy, healthy and fit spider that is not dangerous, right? You just see there's beautiful web and the spider is there, right? You would anyone would say that that is beautiful, but if you see a spider misplaced on someone else's web, I mean that looks off, right? And that's this person. So here, you are coming out of this feeling like you're in the cold, keeping your guards up to, again, I see here that you are not moving forward towards the person that you thought. You are changing your course, Aquarius. You are seeing that clearly now. You are not going to accept someone's uh, message. It's almost like they're sending in this message and just as they do, you are shifting course. I see the person that you're moving forward with could have Earth in their chart. Could have Pisces in their chart. 
they're very honest um they're really are just very honest and and, and it's a new way of or what can it, it's a bringing you happiness and it's a way of communicating that you have not communicated in in connections before perhaps uh, aquarius and it's very um yeah it's very much uplift uplifting you but the road have many twists and turns uh and 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 uh you know, it is that year of the rat could be significant, year of the horse, uh, year of the rooster, year of the monkey, and year of the tiger, year of the snake. So so um, I, I am seeing that it's... Um, you... For a moment, you don't think that you can develop feelings for anyone, perhaps, and you have maybe a cynical view on love, perhaps, as well, or someone... But something will turn around which you will surprise you. Something will turn around that is you are leaving someone behind as well. This is someone that you know that you you are you enjoy their attention, you always have, but you're just at the moment you're going to be free of, of them. It's okay not to have all the answers, they will come to you. Don't forget to fulfill your needs while helping others. It will all make sense to you soon. You know that you are safe and protected. Let go. I mean, really let go. There is something better on the horizon. See the good in what you call bad. Nothing in your suffering is meaningless. Believe in yourself and your ability to carry out your dream. There is still time to change the road you're on. It's never too late. So yeah, for many of you, you could be, again, be willing to let go of everything you once thought to be true. And you are a lot tougher than you think you are. So I would say here, yeah, it is that road. The road is the road that you believe is your road, basically. <laughs> there is a gift here for you waiting. And uh, it's, um, yeah, it will surprise you in a positive way. Aquarius, please like, subscribe, leave a comment. Have a wonderful weekend. I'll speak to you soon.